Okay, now we're going to take manure samples that will correspond to the TMR samples so that we can actually measure digestion through your cows. In a pen like this, we're going to take at least 10 manure samples. If it's a larger pen, we can go and take 15 or 20 or as many manure samples as you feel are necessary to accurately represent the pen. When we're taking the samples, we're going to want to get a, a good distribution of manure, whether it be loose, average, or stiff piles. You can see we've got very friendly cows here today, so be careful and safe when, when working with pens. We're going to want to stick to pies that are undisturbed if possible. If they are disturbed, cows walk through them. Just make sure we brush off any uh, material, whether it be sand bedding or digested solids or anything on the top, and then avoid using uh, your measuring cup and scraping the ground and, and picking up any additional sand or gravel or things like that as well. I use a half cup measuring uh, tool here and then get my 10 subsamples into the bucket and then we subsample for the, our lab sample from there. So <clears throat> I've already sampled a, a couple pies here and I'll just go through in detail sampling one here up close so you can see exactly how we're doing it and then we'll subsample from there. We've got an undisturbed pile here and again what I'll do is I'll just brush away some of the surface where there's some hair or maybe some other bird droppings or some things and then we'll get our half cup subsample there. And I'm going to take two samples from this one just so we can illustrate the mixing and subsampling from there. So then after we get our, our minimum of 10 samples, this is what we've got in our bucket. Uh, it'll be a little bit less here for our example today. But then I'll just use either my hand or the mixing cup or the sampling cup. I will thoroughly mix, again, trying to avoid manure getting any into the crevice of the bucket. It's a little bit easier to make a uniform sample with manure as compared to a, a TMR. It doesn't smell quite as friendly, but more consistent product. So then when we've got the sample uniform, we'll just go and dump it into the sampling container, which I've got sitting here over on the side, which we'll go to. With the sampling containers, uh, I like pre-labeling anything so we're not out here writing in either the cold uh, or just yucky conditions. I'll have the cap off before I go and get the manure sample because sometimes we don't quite stay this clean. And then you'll see there's a fill line on this. We're going to fill up to that line, but again, you don't want to get any uh, sample above that line because there's some expansion contraction. We're going to be shipping these either through UPS or USPS and we don't want those blowing up in transit. Then when subsampling, just use your measuring spoon or cup, about a cup and a half is about what we need for the lap. That's it. And I'll seal them tightly, and then if you have some duct tape, that can also help go around it a couple times, just again, ensure we keep this thing sealed up well, and then here's going to be your shipping container. On the corresponding uh, sample submission form, this one's a, a TMRD example, so again, I'd have this filled out ahead of time with your farm name, the date, and then just the uh, pen that we're sampling from on that farm. And this will go in with the TMR sample and manure sample as well. That wraps up our sampling, so hopefully that is going to help you get accurate samples from your farm or from your account so that we can come and help you figure out how digestible your ration is.